Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime boring episode. I'm so excited that you guys are here tonight. HOE is here with me. We're going to do a beautiful ring pour with one of my favorite colors that I've been out of for a while, and I'm so happy that I just got back in. This is Golden's Iridescent Pearl. And this is just such a beautiful, beautiful color. I've actually painted the sides and edges of the canvas with it, and you can see how iridescent and shimmery it is, and just luscious and beautiful and creamy. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So I'm very excited to be able to use my pearl again. Uh, we are using a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back, put my push pins in, and I have painted the sides and edges with that iridescent pearl. Uh, the next color we're using is my blingy friend, my Decor Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight. You can email Krista at Krista8974 to get your own mix. So this is our 24 karat gold from Decor Art Americana Decor Metallics. And then next we are using Folk Art Treasure Gold Series in Antique Copper. And this is beautiful. You see that color shift on there, HOA, from the purple to the copper? Oh yeah. Such a pretty, pretty color. I love this. So that's the Antique Copper from Folk Art Treasure Gold. And then we are using Golden's Payne's Gray, which I love how deep and luscious this is. It's just amazing. And my first instinct was to paint the sides and edges with the Payne's Gray, but I decided to go with the pearl. Okay. This one started out as Amsterdam, what is it? Turquoise green, but then I added a little bit of the Payne's Gray to it. So it's now more of a light blue than turquoise green, but that's fine. I like this. I think it's gonna go a little bit better with this color palette. So let's get our cup. We're gonna start layering a cup. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is put, actually I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of pearl in the bottom first, even before we put the gold in. First in, last out. That's right. I'm going to put a little bit of our 24 karat gold in there. And I'm going to go into the antique copper. Kind of a thicker layer. And then we're going to go Pings Gray. Put a little bit more of the pearl in there. some of that custom, kind of like almost robin's egg blue, but not quite. Let's see, let's put some gold on top of that. Which is probably gonna make it go green. Well, uh, we're gonna go back to the antique copper. And the paint's gray. Pearl now. Custom blue. I'm going to put some pearl on the other side of that also. Because I do want to use the gold, but I don't want it to turn greenish. is ready to go. Take that off. Okay. That's a 20 by 20. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of our gold and pour it into the center. I'm just going to tilt that around just a little bit. Spread it out. And the purpose of this is twofold. First of all, we don't mind at all if our paint spreads over that real thin and causes gold cells to pop up. And also that's going to hopefully keep our paint from eating itself as it rolls around. So I think I actually want to put a little bit of pearl on top of that too. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, madam. Just we picked. 
<laughs> Here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour. Wait. Okay, let's give that a quick torch. Mm -hmm. It is really pretty, actually. I'm just stepping over here to see the color shifting from that treasure gold. That's beautiful. Okay, we're going to take some of that pearl and we're going to thin it down just a little bit with some water. A little bit more. That was a lot more. Okay, so if you do that before you stir it, just pour some of the water off. And you won't get too, 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 too big. Of course, it's better if you don't do that in the game. <laughs> okay, we're going to go around this. frosting a cake almost. side better but I'm loving what's happening there. We're going to torch this one more time because I see a bunch of bubbles popping up and I'm only torching the pour. I'm not torching the base coat. Okay. So let's tilt this out.
TNT copper on there. Bring this down and back to center. I'm trying to decide if I want to take that center part, the middle of the pour, and move it up towards me or down towards you guys. What do you think, you Chili? Um, it's intriguing. I really like the lines. Let me see. Those opened up. Down there? Yeah. Then I think that... Uh, I really like that antique copper. Yeah, that antique there. copper might actually be more interesting. Doing some cool stuff with that gold. Yeah. I, think I, I do love that part though, and I don't really want to take it off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cup that still has a little bit of paint in it, and we're going to go over that corner. Wise, because I didn't want that. Oh, no, it seems more dead century. Yeah, it has to come back. Just a touch. Okay, that's pretty cool. 
Okay, so I just touched this edge. <laughs> so we can fix it again. And luckily there's still paint in the cup. corners and edges. Touch those up real quick. That's pretty good. That's pretty neat. What do you think, Joy? Heck yeah. Okay. I'm going to get my hands off and we'll torch this real quick. That's really, really pretty. The antique copper, especially with the gold and that little bit of the turquoise color we had. First of all, these lines on this edge. I'm going to turn this around so you can see that side, Joy. Like over there where it's falling off, you're just so pretty. <laughs> and these are beautiful. Okay. My hands are drying up. What? My hands are still too wet. really like this a lot. So observation wise, what I really wanted is like up here in this corner, how you see that pain gray in the background. And then there's like the purple and the lighter blue. That's really cool. And what the pearl has done is changed that light turquoise color into a really pretty, almost like the aquamarine from Treasure Gold. That's got a little bit of a metallic sheen and you see the gold all through these lines too. It's really, really pretty. And we've got some gold cells, some beautiful boulder cells. Unfortunately, we tipped some of them off, but you know, there's some really cute little cells coming up through here, through the treasure gold antique copper. So this is really, really pretty. It's just composition wise. I'm not sure if I want that right in the middle or if I want to take it towards me or towards you. I think it needs to come down this way just a touch a little bit. There we go. That's cool. And that opened these cells up in these lines. That's cool. I like it. We good? Yep. Okay. I will show you this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. Not completely dry yet. It's been pretty cold here. But this turned out really, really pretty. This was using our Golden's Iridescent Pearl line. And the really amazing thing that the pearl did was make all of this look like it's glowing, which is really neat. <laughs> um, the beautiful treasure gold, the antique copper, lightened up a little bit. And I see like bands of bronze in there. Hope you guys can see that. Really cool, like you actually see the rings beautiful detail. I love the corner. <laughs> it's so cool. Really, really pretty stuff. But this section right there, that's just like <laughs> gorgeous. So pretty with the gold and the pearl in that center. 
I love this corner. And this corner. <laughs> really pretty cells in here. So this was the Treasure Gold series. Antique Copper and Payne's Gray. And that Amsterdam Turquoise Green that we added a little bit of the Payne's to. And our Iridescent Pearl and our 24 karat gold. Came out pretty cool. Really, really nice. So... Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you wouldn't mind, could you please like and subscribe? Because I really would like to reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers by my 50th birthday, <laughs> which is in January. So just check and see if you are subscribed. I would really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys real soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.